Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming. Today, I've decided to update my favorite deck before rotation happened and potentially my favorite deck of all time in Zapcat. I absolutely love Zapcat before rotation happened, but unfortunately rotation has absolutely killed this kind of deck, the Cataday decks in general. I love Cataday decks, and if you were with me before rotation happened, you would have seen so many Cataday decks and so many different ideas that I had with it. It was my favorite kind of deck. But rotation absolutely killed it. We lost some huge cards for this deck, and I'll get to that in a minute. So let's just work out the premises of the um, idea behind this deck before we go into my post-rotation build of it. So the premise of this deck is we had Zapdos as our main, um, as our main sort of, I guess, first attacker here. So Zapdos, Thunderous Assault, bring it from the bench, does 80 damage, but of course we can make it a little bit higher with the Electro Power, boosting it for an extra 30 for each one of these played. Great for one to arm um, prize card matches as well. Gives us a fighting chance, which is where Cataday's biggest weakness is, is one prize card deck. So Zapdos, main first attack, and we can lean on that Zapdos and play it like a Zapdos deck if we absolutely have to. But we can also cover Zapdos's big weakness, which was those big tag team Pokemon, or GX Pokemon in general. So we can cover that with the Esper here. So the Echinesis does 20 damage to one of our opponent's bench Pokemon, for each damage counter on that Pokemon. Now, this is really great because we can pay for this using the Persian here with the Gathering Cats ability, which ignores all attack costs for each of our Pokemon play with the Cataday attack, which of course, this guy's got the Cataday attack, so we can ignore that, and we're up and rolling. Now, none of these cards, a lot of the Pokemon cards this deck have actually rotated because Jirachi was our consistency energy, uh, so consistency card to get this deck up and rolling. Now, of course, we need lots of ways to constantly switch in and out both our opponent's Pokemon as well as our own. And this is where the rotations absolutely killed us because we've lost cards like Escape Route. Huge for us being able to switch around in our deck and a bit of disruption for our opponent, but also able to get that active back to the bench, which is really, really important if we need to use our Esper. So that's a huge loss to us, which we used to have a four count of. We've also lost Guzma, which is absolutely massive because if they were to drop a Mew or something like that down, this was our way to get through that. Plus, it also allows us to choose to switch our opponent's Pokemon with any one of them that we needed. So Guzma was an absolute massive loss to this card as well, and you can see that was at a four count as well. So those two cards are probably the biggest loss to this deck, but not too far behind it was the Pokemon search. So how much do I miss Nest Ball? And how much do I miss Ultra Ball? They just make non-GX decks viable. The Pokemon search that we lost absolutely killed us and is still, you know, it's hurting the current format, I think. Just the lack of Pokemon search for non-GX decks in general. So that's an, another absolutely mammoth loss to this deck. And even the rescue stretch is a big loss. Being able to put a Pokemon card um, straight from the discard into our hand is just absolutely huge. Or being able to choose to shuffle three from the discard back to our deck is absolutely huge. So some massive losses there. They are the only losses we've had from it. But as you can see, it just kills this deck losing those kinds of cards. But we absolutely love the deck, so we're going to try and make it viable, first of all, in the post-rotation. And then, to be honest, I'm a little bit stale in the post-rotation at the moment, like the current standard format. So I might venture into Expand for the first time ever and see whether I can build this Cataday, this Zapcat deck, back in Expanded as well. But it's going to be a bit of a journey for me because I've not played Expanded. Don't know how that format really rolls, um, whether this is even viable in that format, and I'm probably going to have to build up a bit of a... Uh, card base of the expanded format as well, but let's have a look at the post rotation zap cat now So changes I've made we've upped the Persian count to a 3-3 line just because Pokemon search is a lot harder So we need to be able to find that um, And be able to you know not panic I guess getting that into it To help us with Pokemon search we've gone with Oak Setup so the Oak setup allows us to search for three basic Pokemon of different types, and we're running huge amounts of types here, as you can see. Um, so that helps us just to set up. 
Pokecoms is the best that we can do um, to be able to try and get out those little bits and pieces out of the deck as well. So Pokecoms is here to help us out with that. In terms of trying to get lots of switching happening, we need to be able to switch our own guys. So we've maxed out the switch count. So the switch count just allows us to switch back into Drachis and things like that to get in, into our Zapdos again as well, which is absolutely huge in this. It's super important that we do that. Um, we've got Fioni to try and switch our opponent's Pokemon. So that allows us to Whirlpool suction as long as this guy's on our bench, switch our opponent's Pokemon back to the um, back line, which hopefully allows us to whack them out when we need to with the Esper. It can be a nice little bit of disruption as well. We've got the great catches here, which the best that we can replace Guzma with um, to be able to just pull up a GX uh, Pokemon from the back line to the active and that's sort of how we're replacing it. Now I do stress this is not going to be anywhere near as consistent as it previously was um, or nearly as devastating as it previously was um, but we're seeing how viable it actually is in the current format so let's get into some games. Hello Maliko, welcome. Can't help but question why you're letting me go first. Hmm, custom catches in this. A lot of water energies. So I might need a couple of Persians set up here. Given the custom catcher situation. Mimikyu is interesting. Well, Oak set up, so it has got tag teams here. Grab this, grab Meowth, um, grab Fion. I only got the one Fion in deck. So that's something worth noting. Stella wish ourselves. Oaks on the next turn is not great. We do need this. We do need to find energy. That's something we do need to find. Um, so we kind of want the cat. We don't need Esper yet. We'll grab ourselves. I feel like getting double cat is important here. I'm thinking about just getting this mega low punny back into the active to be honest like out in the active let's do that let's force switch and leave it up just because I'd rather hit into the mega low punny if I can kind of greens I have no idea what this is going to be. Absolutely no clue. Hoping to have a fair chance getting a whack into this mega low punny. We do have a couple of E powers we could burn. We might burn them. I don't know. Getting a custom catcher. Who are you going to bring up? Zapdos, probably. Yep. Tag cool. Well, at least that's two of the custom catchers gone for game one thing and you use your greens to do it get an ADP all right well double E power gets enough damage onto this guy anyway what else do you grab with that Double ADP. Oh no. Kayla and Cynthia. Okay. 
We could triple weep out. How much do I need these? <laughs> I was gonna burn a lot of them so I don't draw into them. Shuffle. There's a lightning energy, awesome. Get that on. At the moment, we'll just thunder us up. Hit in the hundred. So that's set up ready to run. Okay, on Cynthia. Get that greens back. Cryogonal down. Want to item lock me? Interesting. Good. The NG attachment does not go to this guy yet, which is awesome for me. Alright, I actually think I just want to take Eliza's switch here. To be completely honest with you. Let's run this for a switch. To this guy. So if we can whack out ADP, it'd be huge. Grab a shrine out of this. We could take the three prize cards now. But you'll set up to heal. We'll back ourselves here. To get what we need. Thunder assault this guy. It's 180. Ooh, we need shrine to tick. As long as we can get a shrine to tick. You're at lethal right now. If I can get you to the bench and Esper in. Ah, you got the Chaotic Swell to get that shrine so you're not at lethal anymore. Unfortunately. Got the NG Spinner. Alright, so I'm on a big time clock. Got the board, which I'm going to chuck this to you. Just so I can get out of the active. Cynthia. Got Fiona, which is awesome. Switch to you. Still a wish ourselves. Want to grab an oak setup here? Forcing you to switch back in is probably good. Well, pull suction. His ADP would be your next attacker, I think. Interesting. Kinda wish the board was on you. Ah, uh, we'll just go with the Echinesis. Get pressure on this ADP. Because that's the big threat. So frustrating, got that chaotic spell down. Wish I'd got a spell tag as well. That'd have been even good. But the ADP's in a lot of trouble now. Kind of greens. Got 
Got a switch raft to get it back. So the thing here is Zapdos can take the KO on the ADP. And then I've only got to deal with this Megalopunny. Alright, so Zapdos deals with ADP. And then we've just got Megalopunny to go. I want to set up on this one. Get another Esper down. The item lock's not going to do too much. I wouldn't have thought. It'd be great if Jirachi pulls a shrine. If Jirachi pulls shrine here. We actually have this. Oh, there's the spell tag. Okay. Grab you and you. Alright, have yourself a spell tag. Uh, let's tell a wish. Oh, didn't get up. We'll grab the switch. Okay, we'll learn his fishing rod back. Esper. This stage we'll retreat to a Zapdos. Let Zapdos do his thing. Thunderous Assault. Get rid of ADP. There's the only other E-Power in the deck. Couple more switches. So, you're going to item lock us, which stops us from using a switch, but we've got the board on there so we can just retreat out of our Zapdos manually. And you've got to desperately protect your bench now. So we're relying on hopefully not seeing too much Mew, that's really what we're relying on. while we're playing this. So we don't have a great way to get at Mew. Getting Blast Plop. You're gonna have to get him fully charged though. Switch. Well, without a Mew down, we're looking good. Impersonation. Getting Cynthia your hand. Alright. We're good. We'll just run the old switch. And finish off the Megalopunny. Boom. Alright. Zapcat is back. Picking himself up a W. Look at that. Hello, Surfer. Welcome. The single mulligan. And we got Reshazard with a poi pole at the back. Getting Mew Mew down. Two tag teams on the board. We like that. T 
Didn't get anything else with the tag call, which is kind of interesting. So I have everything to attack this turn. Like set up. Go and get Fionn, Zapdos. Ah, uh, sorry. Meowth. Kind of want to go with these three. Although I want Jirachi. I think getting Jirachi is too crucial here. Oh, I didn't need Meowth. Now that I think about that. We do have the Cynthia for next turn. We're going to lose our Zapdos here. It's unfortunate, but what can you do? We need to maximize the damage onto this Rash's art. And Thunderous Assault. Get 110 damage on. Didn't need the second Meowth. I'm disappointed in myself for getting that. Didn't even think through that I had Meowth already. Do I great catcher here? There's ups and downs to doing it. Gives me an option to try and hit into that Mew Mew. Mm. Let's great catcher. Get rid of these two. Pull up the Mew Mew. Cynthia. unfortunate that's big time unfortunate well right now we're going to our Meowth we're going to NG attach to our Meowth and Katadate let's get ourselves an extra couple of cards to play with What I wanted to do was be able to hit into this Mew Mew as well. If you are able to retreat to that Mew Mew, I'll be sad. Like, retreat to that Reshazard. We don't want you to be able to be like Nagnadel heavy. Because Naganadels are going to be hard for us to deal with. Ah, you've got the switch. That makes me so sad. So you whack out Meowth here. We have what it takes to get rid of the Reshazard here though. So on an Oaks. We do have two Espers, so that's good. Zapdos. We don't have a second Fionn. I need to use the Fionn last time. Mm. Like before I did this. That makes me sad. Should have Fionn before I did this. Do we want a third thing then? Not really. We'll just grab those two. I think we take the KO while we've got it. So let's just Stellar Wish see what this is. 
We could grab the switch. I reckon the switch is the best out of this. Just put that Reshazard back to the back line. So our play for next turn is to pull up the Mew Mew. Hopefully. Eirkinesis, whack this Reshazard out. Alright. We don't want to get hit with a stamp here. That's <laughs> something we desperately don't want to get hit by. Got plenty of shrines to play. So our next turn's about hitting that Mew Mew. Great catch of the Mew Mew up. That's what we're after here. And get that damage on that Mew Mew. While you're trying to play Naganadel based. Which makes sense. That's what I'd do. Because it makes my life a lot harder. But Tapa Coco back. See, playing Lightning Energies with this. Which suggests it's got the, um, was a Resha Rom? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Tractor Archie. We'd love an Oak set up, I reckon. Kinda got what we want in a minute. Don't get ourselves an Oak set up. So we're gonna run a Cynthia then. Grab Alana's rod. What we do want to put back is the Esper. Just give me access to that again. We do want a great catcher here. Probably the electro power and the board. Bring this back up. Chuck the old shrine down. Cynthia. We got Fionn, which is lovely. We had to put this guy back. Go and get ourselves out an Esper. Get to put this to you. Get to put a second lightning NG to you. Retreat to Zapdos. And Thunderous Assault. The reason why the second lightning NG is going to you, so I've got the Manu Retreat as well. So if I get hit by the stamp, we can still Manu Retreat Fiona out of here. And I don't think you've got enough to get that healing straight away. Yeah, nah, there's no way. You can get that Miraculous Duo out. And I'm well done. I mean, if you run this to the bench now, you just... Muse the other thing that could really hurt. <laughs> That'd be the other card we don't want to see. I and mean, what can you copy at this stage? The Reshazard that's not hurting us. The Reshazard. You have tons of fire energies on the board. It's the old outrage. We've got enough for game now. Let's chuck Esper into play. Then run the old Fion. Whirlpool suction. Decide who you want in the front line for me, please. While we'll whack out the Mew Mew in the back line. 
<laughs> and Echinesis. Whack this guy out. That's what we like. Two tag teams on the board for us to go bang bang. Beautiful. Good game. Good game. Hello, M4TY42. Welcome. I'm really starting to feel like I need to add just another lightning energy to this. Seven seems a little bit light. We well, you know, set up this turn. I just know that you're going to damage spread a lot of damage counters. Well, Oak set up this turn. It's the smart play. We need you. You don't really want to drop SP yet. Drop a Fion then. Grab Cynthia. And just hold there. I'm just aware that this is going to be a Roxy or whatever that supporter is deck. The one that just um, allows you to draw by discarding those cards, like wheezings and stuff, and spreading a lot of damage to the bench. So Fiona's fine because I can just run that damage away. Lily Doll, try and buy time. And the old Perplex. Luckily, we're about switching as often as possible. We will go and get ourselves out our Persian while we can. Just need an energy card off this now. Find us an energy. Alright, so we've got an NG. That's awesome. We'll still wish ourselves. We kind of want the switch here, I reckon. And then retreat. We do want to hit into the Mimikyu. It's our ideal person to hit into. Alright, so you're set up. Gonna go with the snuggle and fall, are ya? So the upside is we can actually Oak set up on this this one. That makes it more awkward. Although we not we're not needing NG just yet. We're not needing NGs just yet, so that's fine. Can you go the old perplex? So we'll switch to the Jirachi. We'll well pull suction you. Oak set up. Grab Fionn. We want Esper. And do we want another Zapdos down? I think so. One more can't hurt. Still a wish. Guess it's going to have to be the switch at this stage. 
spell tag. Lightning energy to you. We'll run the retreat to the Esper. Then here Kinesis, whack this guy up. Alright, come on, prize cards. Nope, prize cards did not help. I was thinking I maybe should have held this just in case I need to actually attach a second energy to attack. That's something that I could be needing to do. But Jirachi's got plenty of things that we can hit on this next turn. So some kind of draw sport, preferably just a shrine be probably fine. Don't mean It makes things more awkward as we continue though. That's for sure. Lily's full force. Getting more dolls down. So you're gonna force me to go through dolls for a while. Which is actually super awkward. I need to get rid of that Wondrous Liberant. That's for sure. Okay, switch back to Jirachi. What are you going to find me? A shrine? I think that'll have to do. Reluctantly, the shrine has to do. I don't have any switches, which is so bad. We can take out two Lily Dolls if we have to, with the E-Power. So we retreat to this guy. Take you out. Wish we had more switches. <laughs> oh, he's going to keep running dolls. It's so annoying. We did get another switch. I think for the moment, we'll actually E-Power and get it this way. Uh... No. We will switch out. Still a wish ourselves. Grab the Liza. We're not going to shuffle draw. Is what I'm anticipating coming. Is the other Lily doll. So there's two Lily dolls in the bin. If you put the other Lily doll, we can just E-Power into that. Nearly thinking Zerora GX might be a go, but mm, don't really want to do that either. Hmm. Haven't seen this ever, I don't think. <laughs> Alright, what we're going to do is going to E power here. We could force switch, but I just want to get rid of these dolls, to be honest. Let's just get rid of this doll. So there's three dolls gone. And now Fionn can get around the other doll, which is fine. Ah, Mina. So you are attacking here. Hitting for 120. That's fine. Don't mind you hitting out the Zapdos. It's 
Supreme Puff GX. What's that do? Okay. Get another turn. Lose full force. I oh, didn't actually attach that energy with Amina to this guy. He's trying to power up the Clefable, probably. But we've got a tag team sitting here to get our, all well, three of our four prizes. So we've got one prize to think about afterwards, I guess. Jirachi, you get down. Ah, oh, Lily's full force. Go, Cynthia. It's really good. Feel like at the minute. I'm ha fairly content just holding the cards I've got. We don't have an NG card. That's the only thing I'm not really happy about. But I'm happy with the rest of the cards. They're good cards. Straight to this sappy. And we'll thunder us up. Get the job done there. She can take this Zapdos out as well. So what do we need? We need an E power. How many E powers have we got left? Three? Although forcing you to hit out the Esper is a pretty good thing. Ah, oh, you just ran to the bench for me. Cool. Alright, so we'll hit out that guy. And then the concentration is then just finding. What I need. Um, which is an NG card. That's priority number one. We have Cynthia for draw, don't we? Yup. Grab the E power. We're going to start emptying. A few cards here. Uh, grab ourselves. It doesn't really matter. I'm not putting you down anyway. Just chuck double Fiona down for the moment. Feels fine. I uh, want the switch. We want to hold the E power. Or we'll retreat to the Esper. Do we want to hold the E-Power? That's the thing. We do. We'll just do Kinesis, whack this guy out. Nearly expecting a stamp to come. Not really stamp proof, but we got Jirachi to go into. Great catcher. Shrine. I do feel running 7 energies is a bit light. I think I need to find room for an 8th energy. I mean, I know that we largely don't need a heap of energies, but I feel like we need to find another one. Guess that's the tankiest Pokemon you've got. Alright, lightning energy is what we're after. Uh, four damage counters. They can just go on. In fact, we don't need an NG, do we? If we put them here... Lightning, NG, or an Esper for the win. I just thought about that. Lightning, NG, or Esper, and we get the win here. So, double E power. I want to keep the bench spot open. Ah, it doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, could. Let's whirlpool suction. Is we can whirlpool suction again if we need that out. Chuck this down. We don't want to oaks. Let's go with Cynthia. Yep. Got the lightning NG. 
Let's double bluff here. <laughs> so we're going to whirlpool suction because let's think about this. Puts him up. He's gone. Puts anything else up. He's gone. Yeah, whirlpool suction. So you'll put the blissy up. That's what I'm assuming. Yep. All comes back. Go and get ourselves out our other Esper. And then retreat to Esper. And Eokinesis this thing out. In fact, I didn't even need to do that because I could have just gone and got the Esper. <laughs> oh well. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> and it is time to rate this deck and... Really, this deck isn't viable in the current format. It's It makes me super sad because I absolutely loved this deck before rotation happened and it was an absolute blast to play. But yeah, the, the rotation killed this deck, took too many pieces away from this deck that this deck really lived and died from. So it makes it very difficult for this deck to compete. I mean, there were some matches and certain matchups that this is still a lot of fun to play, but they're few and far between. There's so many matchups right now and so much in the format that this just won't compete um, well with, and you're just not going to be in for a fun time. So, yeah, it makes me sad to say, but this isn't really a viable option anymore in the current format. And really, the current rotation, the current standard format as it is to me, has grown a little bit stale and I've become very bored and just unmotivated to build decks for which has meant that I'm not playing the PCGO anywhere near as much and I'm thinking, you know what, maybe it's time to explore Expanded for the very first time um, for me and see whether I can build some decks around that. It's going to be a bit of a learning process if I decide to do that because I don't know a huge amount about the Expanded format. I don't know how to build decks for it, plus there's a gap in terms of some cards I just don't know anything about because I, you know, had a gap between me playing as a kid compared to now so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve if I go down that route but I'm thinking about doing it because I've just grown a little bit unmotivated to play the um, standard format at the moment as I'm waiting for Sword and Shield to come out and hopefully they change the meta a little bit to make it a little bit more enjoyable to play and build different styles of decks. So it makes me sad that, like I said, this just isn't really that viable anymore in the current rotation. And overall, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10.